Hello and welcome. Although all software has a type of production they're better at, most people still find themselves asking which is better between Blender and Cinema 4D. Both softwares have the area that they're the best at. A Blender has awesome tools, great for 3D printing, animation and simulation, and of course rendering. Cinema 4D is trusted by most companies as it offers tools used to create amazing animations, motion graphics, videos, and stunning renders. Let us take a closer look at the features in each of these softwares to help you decide which of them is the best for your project. Price. When comparing Cinema 4D to other powerful 3D animation programs available, you'll discover it's not overly pricey. Developers can start paying $94 a month and $59.92 with an yearly plan. Using the Redshift rendering add-on will bring it to a total of $160 monthly and $81.92 monthly with the annual plan. Cinema 4D is also one of the few premium applications that offer you to pay just one flat fee, as you can purchase it once for $3,495. Although Cinema 4D offer all of these, it can never beat Blender in terms of pricing. Blender is free and open source, so you may experiment with anything, from projects to business endeavors. Blender is therefore far more advantageous as a visual effects artist with limited resources to spend on software at first, even if it only recently became so serious with a competitor in the field of visual effects. Modeling While Blender offers an intuitive but uncomplicated modeling environment, it also has a simplistic interface to make object creation and manipulation less challenging, making it simple for beginners to dive in and pick up the fundamentals. Although it's a bit difficult to learn at first, if you can master modeling in Blender, you can model in any software. Cinema 4D has some incredible strides in modeling techniques. To begin, they offer a very simple form of polygon modeling that is accessible to everyone who is sufficiently familiar with modeling. The most striking feature of this software, of course, is its parametric modeling, which is ideal for more intricate projects and making impromptu modifications to those projects. Its 3D modeling, which makes use of the MoGraph toolkit, is arguably best known for producing larger surroundings, from massive vegetation to lengthy highways. It also has powerful sculpting tools that make sure all the fine details like wrinkles are included. Lastly, Cinema 4D also has the components of volume modeling, which, like parametric modeling, takes a more um, procedural approach to producing relatively basic things. Cinema 4D provides so many tools and limitless canvases to play with. In terms of modeling, Cinema 4D is a better option, but if you're a beginner, learning modeling than Blender is the best option for you. Interface the beginner-friendly appearance wouldn't have been earned by Blender if it had no work environment that wasn't straightforward for new users. Blender's basic interface is appealing enough for any user to jump straight right in and start producing something unique with reasonable ease. Although the screen may get pretty congested as the 3D creations grow more intricate, while Cinema 4D has an increased number of tools and features which make the screen smaller and navigating a little more challenging. It might take some time to become accumulated to Cinema 4D's environment due to the complex network of constructing textured nodes. For beginners, Cinema 4D will feel like the deep end while leaping into visual effects. Although you might look at it past it for the first appearance, Cinema 4D has a better user interface. Texturing Given that Blender favors a more node-based layout, navigating its handling of materials takes some getting used to. And compared to the other 3D applications with the reduced texturing process, Blender has a bit of a learning curve of being rather straightforward in its display. It will take a while to get used to, but there are plenty of tutorials that are simple to read and may help you become accustomed to texturing very quickly. While in Cinema 4D, there is a remarkable texturing process that is more complex in very different ways. When compared to every other 3D tool, the editor is easier to use and quick to position. Second, given that they eventually automate a lot of process, node-based materials are also there but in a more ordered window, which may make the more intricate complicated textures a little less frightening. Finally, with a technique similar to ZBrush, Body Paint 3D can make creating materials and details as simple as painting them directly on the model. In terms of texturing, Cinema 4D is the best not just because of its easier way of making texture, but because they have numerous ways to produce the best 3D pictures. Rendering Frame sequence format is the most potent tool for rendering in Blender. When rendering scenarios where frame rate is crucial, the frame sequence format makes it easier. It's important to note that Blender also almost fulfills all requirements because it has a built-in sound sync and video editor. Blender also has a robust set of rendering settings to meet the least requirements like anti-aliasing, render baking, and OpenGL compatibility. Cinema 4D has a bit more extensive rendering options, specifically they perform better when processing larger projects that demand an extra boost to produce elaborate animations with grand details. 
In Cinema 4D, tools like Global Illumination, Caustics, Sketch and Tune Render parameters may be controlled more precisely. Natural outdoor settings, although very complex, can be easily produced with Cinema 4D. Amazing rendering can be done with both Blender and Cinema 4D, but Blender is more suited for small-scale projects while Cinema 4D is better for large commercial projects. Blender and Cinema 4D are both great automation software, and it's up to you to decide which is better for your project. Don't forget to like, share, and comment.